This is the third video on the small flower pawpaws that you can find at the Georgia Southern Armstrong University's little walking path through the woods. It is April 2nd, 2022. And for reference, this here is light post number 11. They each have numbers on them, so it's pretty much the only way I know where things are. This is also the section where the fence by the road is pretty open and then there's a field on the other side there. Oh, I'm passing it. All right. This is the biggest pawpaw that I have found here. And it's in front of this oak tree here. I'm not sure what kind of oak tree this is, but it's pretty big. So, alrighty. So this one is a great example of how these plants look. I'm not sure if it'll focus. I might just have to hold it with one hand. Oh, shoot, I knocked off a flower. I'm sorry, plant. All right, so there's one flower. And then as we go down the stem, they get younger. This is why it is called small flower pawpaw because that is as big as the flowers will get. Let's see. And the leaves in April, early April, because it's only April 2nd, the very top of the plant, they will be very shiny. Oh, wrong button. Very shiny and textured. And then further back, as they get older, they will smoothen out and turn darker. And here again is terminal leaf. That one. This little white one here is going to form the next leaf. If you missed the other videos, you can tell pawpaws apart from other plants by the smooth leaves, smooth edges, and the leaves alternate along the stem. So that means they go in a zigzag pattern. So there's one here, 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 all along the stem. This one has oh, a few clusters of fruit. So you can see from here, we're looking at the backs of flowers. So flower, and this one's fruit, flower and flower, and then over here, there's other little baby fruits forming. Looks like little baby green bananas. And let me come around to this side. I want to show the fruit without trying to bend the plant. All right. There we go. There's a little cluster of fruit that's newly forming. Here's the flowers at the top. Let's see this other side here. Yep, we got some little fruits forming here too. And there's some here as well, next to another mature flower. There's little fruits there. There's fruit here. The little flower. Let me get back up to here. Alright. So this one has two main stems here, and then later in the year, it'll get bigger, darker green leaves. All right. Here's some more. Oh, here's some more fruit over here with a little ant. I think the ants are helping to pollinate it as well. So, pawpaws are you? Yeah, they definitely are. Here they are on this flower. If it'll focus. Yeah, there's little ants crawling in there. So they're helping to pollinate it. Pawpaws are usually not pollinated by bees. So, there's some more fruit there. So it looks like this will be a good year for pawpaws. And as a little bonus, there's a little... Let me get the camera to focus. A little tiny bug right here. Not sure what kind it is, but it's cute. Okay, so like I said, there's this plant in front of this oak tree, and then right over here is the lamppost 11. So if you're standing here where the lamppost is, the plant is right there. Alright, so that is the third video 
April 2nd, 2022. Blah, blah, blah. Bye-bye.